what's up guys so i'm starting on this um all black natural color wig um and i'm just gonna go ahead and bleach the whole entire thing um i'm going in with my l'oreal quick blue bleach and then i'm using a 30 volume developer and i'm just basically just using my gloves and just combing it through the hair uh with my fingers because i'm bleaching the whole thing i'm not really being too careful on where the bleach goes it needs to go everywhere anyway so it doesn't really matter um but yeah the bleaching process is pretty self-explanatory like i just said it's just getting everywhere it needs to go everywhere for the color that i'm trying to achieve so um this part was pretty much the easiest part of the whole entire tutorial <laughs> By the time I was fully done bleaching the hair and I got all the way to the top, um, I probably let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed it out. And then I'm going to do the water dip method uh, with my Adore Cajun Spice and my Adore Ginger. Um, these are my two favorite colors to mix together to get that perfect orangey um, ball color. Um, and I just mixed that in the water and dipped the whole entire wig in. I let it sit for probably about five minutes in the actual water and then I rinsed it out and now let's get into the application process. All right, y'all, I'm back. If you hear any background noises, it is raining really hard outside and the dryer's going because I'm trying to wash my clothes and the window's open. It's just a lot going on outside of my room. But let's get right into this hair. So I'm just slipping my braids over. And you guys watched me go ahead and bleach the hair. I used a... 30 um volume developer and of course i use my l'oreal quick blue bleach that's the best bleach in my opinion to bleach hair period but other people may have other opinions but that's just me once i bleached the hair i went in with my adore cajun spice and then adore ginger mixed them together and just did the dipping method and this is the color i turned out with so um can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head. I'm just not really good at that. But let me talk about the hair and how it held up during the whole process. After I changed my battery because my battery's dying right now. I'm looking right at it. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I'm just going to tell you guys um, kind of like how the hair held up from all the processing. Um, if you see me looking down, I'm cutting the lace right now. Um, but overall, the hair did pretty good uh, considering the fact that I used 30 developer to actually bleach it. 
um it did cause a little shedding when i did um you know pull the hair out and actually try to condition it and stuff like that so usually i don't and i won't condition the hair because i just don't feel like it and i'll be so excited to put on my wigs um but this hair did require me to condition it but after i did that process hair was back great and as you can see the curl pattern is still there um i believe this is water wave if i'm not mistaken um i put all the um details and everything in the description box but i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it so i'm not gonna talk um because the applying process is very you know tedious and i'm actually going to pluck it a little bit too so yeah guys just keep watching so i can come back and tell you guys my overall thoughts Alright y'all, so I'm pretty much finished applying the wig. Um, as you guys saw, I kind of had a couple technical difficulties simply because, like I said, I, well I think I said, I'm not sure if I actually did, 
um the lace is really thick on this unit the hair is pretty um but the lace is really thick so it takes a lot to mask that than it would um you know the lex the next lace um but other than the lace i think this hair is popping um i'll probably come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's fully dry it's still really damp um but yeah i'm feeling it what y'all think